It is our duty and our joy to give you thanks and praise. But it's also our duty and our joy to intercede. It's part of our job as Christians to pray for the needs of the world. God longs to pray in and through us and he puts it on our hearts to pray for his world, to pray in us and through us. And that's something that we are able to do, not as a job, but to open ourselves to be prayed in, not as a burden, but as an offering, an offering of our time, our offering of our love, our offering, uh, just as Mary offered herself, said yes, uh, when Gabriel asked if she would accept to be the mother of Jesus. Nobody's offering us to be the mother of Jesus, but God does offer, ask us if we will be his life in the world? Will, will we be his children in the world? Will we serve him in the world? And yes, we do that through our lives, but will we do that through our praise? But will we do that through our prayers? Will we do that through our intercessions? Will we do that by praying for the people we love? Will we do that by praying for the world, by offering our prayers for the people around us? Will we do that by offering our prayers for our country? Will we do that as we look around the world that needs the love of God so much? Let us ask God to teach us how to pray for our country today, to teach us how to pray for our world today. And let's not bite off more than we can chew. It's not that we simply have to start off and try to pray for an hour. We can go for walks and pray for the people we walk past. We can ask God to give us two or three people to pray as we sit down. We can ask simply to pray for people as we remember them. It's not to be a burden. It is our duty and our joy to pray for people as they cross our minds. So as we learn, and we're learning every day as Christians, and I think as part of my prayer journey, it's, it's a prayer journey that's come from uh, the time I consciously gave myself to Jesus. Before that, it was, as I shared with you, the people who prayed for me and the people who brought me up. And then consciously, I stepped on that journey and it's a journey that continues today. And it's from now until I die and then beyond. Let's all of us say, Lord, teach us the next stage of our prayer journey and part of that is how do you want to pray in and through us you have given us the holy spirit please help us to pray constructively for our country and our world in all of the problems that it has so that we might be salt and light but also be those to pray your love pray your hope pray your joy into our communities let's um, I often think of it, you know, like as putting a foot into the door. The door opens and we, our prayers, put the foot into the door so that God's Holy Spirit can slip round into people's lives so that the joy and the hope and the comfort and the promise of God's grace and glory can just creep in round. Uh, it's not that we have to bluster in, but we can put our foot of prayer into the door so that, so that people, the cracks in people's lives can be opened for God's grace and glory. Prayer is an amazing thing. So let's put your foot of prayer into the door of the lives of people you love and the people you don't know and the strangers around the corner. Uh, prayer is a way of getting God's grace into the lives of people you care about and the people around the corner and into our country uh, that needs it so much. Let us pray God's grace into uh, the lives of the people we care about and the people we live amongst.